Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another brief tutorial on the Andromeda token. Now, as many of you know, the Andromeda token went live on 28 December at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, and I just received a really great question on my YouTube channel from a viewer, Haki Mayusuf 2264 is asking, how do you get the Andromeda token off of the Shade Protocol DeFi site and into a wallet. So right now the Kepler wallet is the only supported wallet and I'm gonna walk you through those steps. I'm gonna show you how you add the Andromeda chain to your Kepler wallet from scratch. Then we're gonna to go to the Shade site where I'm going to unwrap some secret Andromeda, right? That you need the viewing key in order to see, right? That privacy piece on the secret and shade protocol networks. I'm gonna show you how to unwrap it, then we're gonna bridge it over to the wallet. It's that simple. So again, we add the chain to the wallet, we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, we're gonna swap actually, we're gonna do a swap, and then we're gonna do a bridge of the Andromeda token, and we're gonna bridge it right over into our Kepler wallet. So let's go ahead and dive into the first step However, before we do that, please remember that this is for information and educational purposes only. I'm not an investment advisor, not uh, trying to shill any of the tokens that I talk about. Uh, I just really like this project. And again, I'm getting some great questions on my channel. So everything you do is at your own risk. You assume all that risk. So just make sure you understand that, right? So here are the steps that I use. So step number one, we need to add the Andromeda chain to our Kepler wallet. Now, this site right here was shared with me uh, in the Discord group for Andromeda. I wanna give full credit here to uh, Robbie G. Mund shared this with me. I had no idea that this site existed. I would highly recommend if you're playing around in the Cosmos or with the Kepler app in general, that you bookmark this, chains.kepler.app. I'm gonna put the link in the description below because this was a lifesaver for me. So all you do is come to the site here. We're gonna search for the chain. We're gonna say A and DR, and there it is, the Andromeda chain. Now it was only added a few days ago for a token that's like brand new. It's probably gonna take a little bit of time before you see it here, but this is how easy it is to add the Andromeda chain to the Kepler wallet. Now, before we do that, let's full disclosure, this is a new profile I just set up and I just installed the Kepler wallet here. So there's nothing in this wallet. And that's the whole purpose, right? So if I say ANDR, you'll notice we don't see anything. In fact, the only chain that I enabled here was the Cosmos chain, right? And that's all we see, the Cosmos hub, that's it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead, let's click on add to Kepler. We're gonna get this big screen you can see right here. It's gonna say add Andromeda to Kepler. We're gonna say approve. If you're not in full screen mode with your browser, it's a little pop-up window usually in the upper right-hand corner. And there we go. So what happens if I say ANDR now? You can see it says that it's been added. Well, if that's the case, I should be able to click on my Kepler wallet and you'll notice that we don't see anything. So let's go ahead and say ANDR. Aha! So it says looking for a chain. Now this, I've done this three times preparing for this video. Every single time, this is what it does. You have to type this in here, or this is what I did anyway, in order to see it pop up. Because without that there, right, all I see here is Adam. Now maybe we need to click on get started, but new wallet, I just go ahead and I type it in here and I find it. And this is where you're gonna see the manage button. And so you're gonna click on manage, and this is gonna open another screen up where you're gonna go ahead and click on Ander uh, to select it or Andromeda to select the chain, and we're gonna click save. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now that screen goes away, so now when I come back to my Kepler wallet, aha! Okay, so I've got Adam, and now I can see the ANDR token for Andromeda. I can also see that I have an address. And I guess I've got this in another Kepler wallet where I actually do have some Ander. So I guess at the end of this video, after I show you how to get it into the uh, Kepler wallet, I'll go ahead and we'll transfer something into this empty wallet right here. Now remember, this is, as you can see from the address, right? The address begins with A-N-D-R. That is on the Andromeda network. And this is very important because the Andromeda, the, the private Andromeda 
that you're able to get right now on the Shade Protocol site is not Andromeda that is on the main net, right? On the Andromeda main net. So that's why we're gonna need to do a couple of additional steps. The first is gonna be to swap the private secret Andromeda that we currently have on the Shade Protocol site and convert it to public Andromeda. And then from there, we're gonna bridge it. So let's go ahead and dive into my other browser uh, that I have and we'll take a look at that. All right, so here we are on the Shade uh, DeFi site. Now you'll notice I've got some very small balances here but I went ahead and I wanted to do something to see if it would work and it actually does. You'll notice I actually unwrapped the private Andromeda, which is what you're seeing in your wall. And that's also where you can come take a look at what the price of it is. So you can see here, it's at about 66 cents. I think the high, someone said all time high hit $1.22. I saw it go to 98 cents, but we're at 66 cents right now. But I also have the native Andromeda. And take a look right there. It's kind of tough to see, but there's the little secret logo there. This is why we need the viewing key because it's all about the privacy with the secret network. So what we need to do is unwrap this private Andromeda and flip it or unwrap it to make it native Andromeda. How do we do that? We come over here to the wrap option. Very simple to switch it out. I'm gonna say A-N-D-R and you'll notice it actually gives you a really nice um, convert or really nice message here. So convert Ander to its privacy preserving equivalent, right? So this would be going from the public Andromeda to the secret privacy preserving where without the viewing key, no one can see this secret Andromeda that you have, right? So we want the opposite of this, right? We wanna take the secret Andromeda and we wanna convert it to regular. And you can see as soon as we flipped it around, it immediately changed and said convert privacy preserving Andromeda to the transparent equivalent. So we're going to do, I'll do 0.21. What do we have there? So we'll do 0.21 and I'll click on unwrap. Again, this is going to be paid in secret. We're going to save on gas if we can. We'll flip it down to a penny. I'll click approve. And so this is how easy it is to take the Andromeda that you've been swapping for on the Shade Protocol site and unwrapping that to the transparent equivalent of the Andromeda token. So unwrap success, we're good to go. Let's go back to portfolio. Let's see what we've got. And you can see here that I've got now just a fraction of private Andromeda, but we've got 0.32 of the native Andromeda. And so now here's the next sort of, okay, well, that's great. I've got it unwrapped. How do I get it into the Kepler wallet? Well, this is where we come up to the bridge. Remember, everything you see here in the portfolio, all of these assets are on the Shade Protocol DeFi site. They're not in my Kepler wallet. They're in the Shade Protocol DeFi site. Well, we need to get those off of here if that's what we wanted to do to move it into a wallet. We're gonna flip this because we're gonna go from the secret network. Again, Shade Protocol is built on the secret network for those of you not familiar. So we're gonna go ahead and say ANDR. I'm sorry, we're gonna leave it a secret and over here we're gonna say ANDR for Andromeda. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the secret network to the Andromeda network and here it's asking me, oh, you're gonna transfer secret. Is that the asset? Well, no, we want the um, transparent public Andromeda token. And you can see there's that same balance that we just saw in the portfolio of 0.32. So let's go ahead and we'll take, um, I'll just take 0.25. So we're gonna bridge over 0.25 Andromeda from the secret network to the Andromeda mainnet. And a penny is gonna be good for me. And again, remember, if you see on the Shade Protocol site, remember, keep a lot of secret around the SCRT token to pay for all the gas fees and transactions that you're gonna be making here on the Shade Protocol site. So we've got unwrapped success and the bridging takes some time. So let me pop up here. And again, remember, this is not the empty wallet. Uh, so I ran through this and you can see right here. So I already had 0.1 and you can see what happened to the Ander 
uh, balance that was on the secret network. Now here, you can also see that secret Andromeda, right? This is the privacy preserving Andromeda that you're seeing here. And if I was doing any shade secret Andromeda Alpine, we would see something here. Uh, but again, this is the secret Andromeda that we bridged to the native Andromeda. And again, there's that Andromeda main net address that I have. And we should be seeing this changing from 0.1 to probably 0.35. All right, so as you can see, the transfer was successful. However, full disclosure, I actually had to wait until this morning at around 8 a.m. Eastern time uh, in order to get this to work. There Apparently, there was an issue with the bridge last night. So when I went to do the transfer, I did it five or six times and it would not go through. There was an issue with the channel between Secret and Andromeda. That has been resolved, as you can see. I had actually thought that maybe it was because I was transferring fractional Andromeda that it was an issue. So I moved uh, about three and a half in here and tried to do it again. So let's go ahead one more time and you can see how quickly this is going to work. And the nice thing is, is that all of the failed transfers, after about five or ten minutes, those transfer amounts showed up back in my portfolio here on the portfolio link on the shade protocol so i didn't lose any andromeda ever in the four or five failures that i had so the problem last night is we would get to this green light and that's where i kind of pause the video saying you know i'll come back when it completes and it never completed so it did this morning you can see the 0.25 went through uh, i'm running it again again at the uh, one cent to make this happen and hopefully this bridge is going to take effect and it's gonna work and we should see these guys light up here and then it should be successful. So while that's going, let's take a pop over here to our wallet uh, and remember we had, I believe it was 0.1 Ander. And so, and there you go, it looks like it's working good, a little slow this morning, uh, but you can see there is my public transparent Ander in the wallet because we left off, I had 0.10, I just put 0.25 in there so you can see it's updated to 0.35. I'm now putting another 0.25 in there and you can see, take a look at that, all good, transfer success. So we should see this amount here and I think I've noticed the Kepler wallet, I don't see it update automatically like right here when I'm displaying in the search. What I've had to do is take that back, retype it in or even click away from it, click back, and then come in and do a search. So, and there you go. So don't panic if you're hovering here like this and you don't see that transfer pop in there. It is going to get in there. And so what have we done to this point, right? Just sort of a quick recap. We did the swap for whatever the token was on the shade protocol DeFi site, whether it was secret we were swapping or shade or silk or whatever in order to get our Andromeda token. But remember, when you get the Andromeda token, initially after that swap, it's going to be the private Andromeda, right? And that little secret logo here over the Andromeda logo is telling you that this is, you're gonna need a viewing key to see this. It is private, the whole secrecy paradigm here on the Shade and Secret Network. So again, we wanted to get that native Andromeda, the transparent Andromeda. So we came here to unwrap it. Again, you just simply pick A N. oops, sorry, A-N-D-R, right? And it's gonna tell you, convert Ander into the privacy Ander or do we want to convert our privacy ander, and we've got 0.159 of that, into the transparent equivalent, right? That native Andromeda. And then we simply bridge from the secret network over to the Andromeda network, making sure that we're picking Andromeda. And as you can see, our, our amount here is now 3.4. I think it was uh, 3.69 or 6.6. Six. So anyway, you can see that it went over there. Now, the final thing that we're going to do here, and I had talked about this, because remember, now in the Kepler wallet, we've added the Andromeda mainnet to our wallet here. So we're at 0 0.60. What if I wanted to move 0.5 of that over to my other test wallet, right, to show you that we can now transfer on the Andromeda mainnet? Well, to do that, I'm gonna to have to switch my profile here to the crypto test profile. 
And that's where we're going to come back over to this Kepler wallet. I'm going to go ahead and copy the Ander address, which is as simple as coming down to the Andromeda token. And you can see the address ends in DZ9. So let's copy that. Let's flip back over to this profile. Let's go to the Kepler wallet here. Let's go down, and actually there's like 100 tokens in here, so I'm just gonna say A and DR. We'll click on this. We're gonna say, send it to that wallet address. The amount, let's send 0.5. No memo to be required here. You can see the transaction fee is so minimal, right? Let's click next. Let's click approve. And while that's going, let's see how quickly it's going to make it over here. Can it get there before I can flip back over here and click on this? Do I have point five? And take a look at that. The Andromeda mainnet transfer is done. So again, we added Andromeda to the mainnet to the Kepler wallet right here using this chains.kepler.app. Highly recommend if you're a Cosmos uh, fan and you're working in the Cosmos that you uh, link this site here. And that is going to do it for this video. Again, hopefully this has helped you out, given you a great understanding of just how easy it is. And again, with the exception of running into um, an issue there with the bridge that was resolved by this morning, everything excuse me, everything worked out fantastically. All right, well, happy New Year's Eve. Have an amazing and safe New Year, and hopefully 2024 is going to fill your bags in the crypto exchanges. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a great night, and as always, I hope to see you in the next video.